Can a military chaplain be court-martialed for simply following the rules of their faith? You won't believe what the Army is doing to Chaplain Scott Squires. Hi, I'm Mike Berry, Deputy General Counsel and Director of Military Affairs for First Liberty Institute. We represent Scott Squires. And earlier this year, he found himself accused of violating Army regulations simply because he followed the rules of his faith and the rules placed on him by the Department of Defense. A same-sex couple tried to register for a what's called a strong bonds retreat, which is a marriage retreat that's hosted by the Army. Chaplain Squires assured the couple that all soldiers are free to attend strong bonds retreats, but he also explained that the tenets of his faith as a Southern Baptist chaplain prohibit him, the chaplain, from being the one who facilitates the retreat. So what did Chaplain Squires do? He got another chaplain who had no such restriction to be able to facilitate the retreat instead. But what did the couple do? They weren't satisfied. Even though they were able to sign up for the retreat and register, they chose not to attend. Instead, they filed a complaint of discrimination against Chaplain Squires and his chaplain assistant. The Army opened an investigation. The investigator came back with findings several months ago, and initially they said oh, he should be given a slap on the hand, maybe even a verbal reprimand. At First Liberty Institute, we said that is totally inappropriate. You can't do that. Not to a chaplain. Not for those reasons. Not when chaplains are protected by federal law and military regulations. And we pointed out all the legal reasons why that can't be done. Well, guess what the Army did next? They told the very same investigator, go back and redo your investigation and answer all of these issues that First Liberty Institute brought up. So the investigator got to redo his entire investigation. And just recently, we received a copy of his newest report, which says, to my shock, that Chaplain Squires should be found guilty of dereliction of duty. In the military, dereliction of duty is something that you court-martial a soldier for. It carries a maximum punishment of a disarmable or a punitive discharge and even time that could be spent in confinement in a military brig. That's absolutely outrageous. And that should never happen in this country. How on earth are chaplains supposed to have trust and confidence that they can serve their commanders without fear of being punished for simply following the rules of their faith and the rules of the military? We're calling upon Chaplain Squires' as commander in this case, Major General Sontag, who's at Fort Bragg, North Carolina, to do the right thing. And if Major General Sontag is unwilling to do the right thing, he must be held accountable. So please help us at First Liberty Institute and support Chaplain Squires. You can go to firstlibertyinstitute.org and sign a petition that will go to the highest levels of the military, ensuring that your voice is heard and your support for Chaplain Squires remains strong and steadfast, just as ours is. Again, go to firstliberty.org and sign the petition to support Chaplain Squires. Thank you.